Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Lone Star Trucking. Today we are in a Fort Smith, I think. I, so I think we're still in Fort Smith. And we are heading, let's check to see where we're going. We're currently in Fort Smith and we're heading to Colby, Kansas with a load of propane for 43000 uh, This is quite the job. I think it's about 600 some odd miles. And 644 to be exact. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get into the semi here and get out of here. This is a long, long trailer, so let's get out of here. Nah, I don't think I can go this direction. We're about to find out, though. Let's see if this gives us a, uh, good, fantastic, it does. Turn right. Glad we're driving a cab over, because that would have just plowed the front of our semi right there. Come on. Come on. We're, haul we're hauling propane. We should at least be, you know, somewhat responsible, right? We'll responsibly drive through the median right there. That's what we'll do. All right, well, we got to get over because we got to turn. Keep left and then turn left. Oh, we don't want to be in reverse. Hey, we're, we're doing things. We're getting her going here. Again, hopefully everybody's having a wonderful morning or evening or a good time zone in general whenever you're watching this. We've been following along on the channel. We've been doing a bunch of different things recently. Turn left. We've been doing storm chasing and trucking and this is malarkey. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. World's worst turn turn light right there. Anyway, yeah, we've been doing a lot of things on the channel here. We've been doing trucking. We've been doing storm chasing. We had some football, which hopefully maybe we'll be still doing football on Thursday. Yeah, we got our zoo. We're back in Blue Star Bay Zoo, if you're interested in Planet Zoo. So we're doing that. And then obviously we still have racing going on. I think, what did I say? Seven more weeks, seven more races in the More Freedom Series. I can't believe that we're already on race number 30 this week. And we are almost done with the entire season. So... It's been a fantastic, fantastic season this year. And just all sorts of new people winning. Um, possibly somebody new winning the team championship. And listen, I'm not complete. I'm, I'm super biased. You know, my AI driver drives for MBR. So I want my team to win. But hey, if we don't win four in a row on the team championship, that's fine. You know, we'll do it. We'll get them next year. Maybe, because there could be, you know, uh, Amish Buggy Racing's looking at having an additional driver for next season and just all sorts of things going on. So, 
It's been a great year in the More Freedom series. It's okay, buddy. You can you can go you can go 65, man. We do need to get fuel. Next time we see fuel, we should probably get it. Let's go to this. There we go. Turn off a Jake break there. Why are we stopping? Why? 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 Oh, we're back and running. There we go. Oh, there was some fuel back there. That's okay. We haven't got the ding yet. We'll probably get it before too long, but we're doing good right now. So, yeah, the end of the More Freedom series and the end of the IROC series, More Freedom series season four, IROC series season three, fast approaching, fast approaching. And um, we'll be, it'll be off for a little bit, and then it'll be time to do another 36 races. <laughs> year has gone by so incredibly fast this year, and it's, it's just crazy how fast this year has gone. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. Keep left. Keep left. Then turn left. Oh. Turn left. I need to look at the GPS a little bit better. Didn't realize I had a left turn there so quickly. So yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. As I was saying, is is that I can't believe that we're already into September, almost October, last full week of September, and last weekend of September coming up. And I just, I don't know. It's been. It, it seems like it's gone so fast. You know. I don't know if that's a product of me getting older or just, well, I know I've been busy, very, very busy at work. So that's a, also a thing. Excuse me. I'm going to set our cruise control. 79. I don't even know if this semi had cruise control, but... We're running cruise control in it for us. Keep left. Cause we got five hundred and fifty seven miles to go. And hopefully we don't run into any road construction or whatnots. Oh, 
Oh, my wheel feels weird tonight, today. I'm, I'm recording this at night, so it is a tonight for me. Uh, there's like a play in the top of the G29 that I have, and it's there for most everything anyway. It just seems more prevalent here in truck sim. Also, we're usually going as fast as the semi will go and all of that. So I think that makes a difference. Let her coast down the hill a little bit here. Yeah, it's getting up to 82. That's fine. And up the other side of the hill. I have to hit the brakes here. This guy is... Rerouting. This guy is going kind of slow keep left thanks I will I did because uh, we're trucking so one of the videos on the channel is I put a oh we got traffic in this lane we got semis passing each other up here I did put a well it's kind of removable it's not permanently affixed in the Durango my 2020 Dodge Durango uh, there, I have a CB in it and I recently just got a new antenna for it and well I got a, a quick disconnect because I park in the garage so it makes it difficult to well it I let me rephrase that I can't park in the garage with the antenna on because it'll hit the garage and all of that stuff and you know just cause issues yeah listen it's a thing so this guy needs to get over and stop riding in the left lane. I just want to put that out there. I want to throw that out there right now. So anyway, I have a, I put a quick, I bought a new antenna. Like I had a three foot, I, I actually have like a professional, like magnetic mount that goes on the top of the Durango but what I found was is that the mount is too big like the, the there's ribs on the top of the Durango and it is too wide to fit into those ribs So I'm using a smaller, oh, for the love of heat, dude. I'm using a smaller magnetic mount now, so I didn't want to have a three foot antenna on the Durango. So it's, I bought a two foot antenna, which was about the size of the old one that I was using anyway, just like the Chinese one. It worked fairly decent. Right. Um, Okay, well, we're going to just whip it over here. Exit right. Yeah, that was unprofessional of me, but we're just whipping it over there. I'm not sure if I need to go left here or right here. Or if I need to, yeah, I need to go straight. Okay. Anyway, I have the I have an 
one of those Chinese CB antennas, and it worked fine, um, but it wasn't, like, the best, is what I would say. So I had purchased one that was, oh, man, a fire st- I bought a fire stick and the mount that goes with it. And, again, it was too – the magnet was too big. So then I have an, a different mount that I was using for my GMRS radios that I'm using for my CB radio because the GMRS is basically what I would consider is almost dead. They, the FCC just came out and said there was, you're no longer allowed to link your repeaters unless you, you know, if you if you had a repeater that was, if you, if you could do it non hard lined, you could do it. But if it if it involves a hard line of any sort, you can't do it. So. In my area, all the GMRS repeaters have died because, there, well, there's nobody that talks to them, and I believe there's, everybody turned them off. If they're on, you know, the ones in my area, there's so few GMRS users that nobody talks on them. So they're basically dead. Um, so I'm using the mount that was for my GMRS antenna, and I'm using it for my CB antenna now. The only thing is, is that I don't know what it's going to do. Like, I've driven on the highway at, you know, like 70 miles an hour, and it seemed fine. I only did that for, you know, a few miles. But we'll see what it does when I do that for an extended amount of time. So. Keep left. I am watching the GPS a little bit better now. Hey, there's the fuel notification. We got 370 miles to go here. As the sun comes up here. Okay, I see some things over here. We're going to pull over up here and get some fuel. But anyway, um, recomputing. Keep left and then continue straight. Yeah, well, we're going to get some fuel first, GPS guy. I will say that I hear more traffic on my CB in the Durango than I do my GMRS radio. Never mind. Yeah, I'll just find it's it. fine. It's fine. We're just getting some fuel. It's fine. Where is the fuel islands at here? In front of us? It's in front of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's find a new route. It's fine, dude. We're gonna stop and we're gonna get some gas. See? I'll see how much this is going to cost us here. Well, I was 218 gallons and $694. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to pull out of the fuel island for one. Because we're not going to be that guy. (laughs) 
And we're going to back in here because we're going to have to split this guy into two episodes. So let's... No, I mean, let's just pull over here. We're not going to back in. We're just going to pull in right here. Yeah, we'll have to pull up some and then back up a little bit, I guess. All right. Tear bullet backing up, I swear. There we go. We're good. We're good right there. All right, well, that's going to be the first half of this episode. And in the next half, we'll finish up the job. So hopefully you come back and you listen to me ramble then, too. And uh, appreciate you coming and hanging out. And we're going to be continuing on for, what do we got? We're on, this is episode two. We're going through episode 10 of Lone Star Trucking for the season two. And hopefully you enjoy it. Come back to the channel for all the other shenanigans that we get into. The storm chasing, more freedom trucking, uh, all those, you know, the racing and everything else. And I appreciate you hanging out. And like I always say, that you can spend your time. And if you spend your time and or your money, depending on if you watch me on Twitch, you can do you spend your time and or your money anywhere. And if you choose to spend it here, I really appreciate it. And until next time here in Lone Star Trucking, when we finish our load of propane, take care.